Why are factory infotainment systems better than the aftermarket ones? Let's take a closer look. This is the top spec factory system getting assembled. First, they bolt the main unit to the display with four screws. This one's for a Jetta and it runs Volkswagen's Zebra system. Compared to aftermarket setups, this thing's way more complex. Most aftermarket screens skip the separate control box and cram everything into one piece, pretty much just a tablet. But a regular tablet cannot handle the brutal heat inside a car's dash in the summer. Factory units come with a separate computer and lots of cooling vents. It is like the difference between a tablet and a full-on desktop computer. Once the screen and main unit are joined, they plug in the video cable. Then it is ready to be installed. First comes the big power and audio cable. Next, the black one is for data. Third is the power cable for in-car charging. Fourth, only on high trims, is the cable for internet signals. The white one goes to the radio antenna. Then comes the screen's power cord. Lastly, these three colorful plugs are for the 360-degree camera system, which connects to four cameras mounted outside. Factory systems go through pro-level calibration, so they are way more precise, and Volkswagen uses automotive-grade chips that cost way more than smartphone ones, all for stability.